All right, everybody, thanks for uh, tuning in once again to the Principal Outdoors YouTube channel. So my first guest is here. I never thought I'd have a guest, but uh, sure enough, I feel like I'm on a talk show. Today we got Captain Paul Powes with us. I've known Paul since I was in Ontario, so over 12 years, I'd say. And Paul's been with Canon for longer than that, before I was around here. Yeah, you inherited me for Canon. I did, yeah, yeah. An unhappy inheritance. No, I mean, it was great. It was wow. awesome. <laughs> Your first and only guest. Exactly, no, exactly. That's cool. So Paul, uh, he's a captain out on Lake Erie mostly, and uh, he's been out there for a long time. If there's one guy that knows trolling, it's Captain Paul Powers. So uh, he's actually going to talk to us today about cannon tracks and rod holders, because um, he's using them a lot in his boat. Yeah, thanks, John. So uh, one of the questions I get asked a lot is where and how and what and, and the setup of a boat. And the, the crazy part is every boat hull design is different. So riggers will fit here on one boat and they won't fit here on another boat. And your rod holders are the same thing. So um, I was asked this question recently uh, about, you know, what's the first thing you, that you would buy as an angler? And, and the first thing I would put on a trolling boat would be rod holders because they're so versatile and you can fish several different ways from them. You can fish with them uh, in the in a straight down position for dipsies. You can uh, alter them angle like that for inline board. So uh, they're very functional. And and one of one of the questions I get asked along is how do you put them on the boat? Well, the the folks at Canon have come up with some solutions that they make a track system. So this is a six inch. How long is that one, Johnny? Twenty four. Uh, 18. 18. So they come in several different sizes depending on how many rod holders you want to put on the boat. So the question that I get asked from consumers, how many should I have? Well, if you're only fishing with you and your kid or you and your best friend and, and you don't need 20 rod holders on the boat, you need two. Yeah. Two rods per angler for most of the, most of the lake situations. And uh, they come in different sizes and then you can put your track in, you can attach your... your uh, your uh, down riggers in that track you can put your rod holders in the track and the other thing you can do is you can take the stuff off so if you have a family boat that you're using to take the kids tubing and or do some fishing you don't have to have all this stuff on the side it's just a couple of thumb screws and take the slide off and away you go and you can switch it out between a fishing boat and uh have fun at the lake boat so um the rod holder of choice for me is this dual access swivel mount because it turns back and forth in the track like this up and down or any angle you want from forward like this which you probably wouldn't use but for there for uh trolling inline planer boards or uh crank baits or or worm harnesses i use them for that and the other thing i like about versus a fixed mount rod holder is for travel and docking. You can just put your rods in here and they're not near the side of the boat. They're not gonna hit the dock or the pilings or any of that stuff. So uh, very versatile, um, great function. It does multiple things and the sky's the limit. So some people will mount that direct to the side of the boat. I suggest if you're only putting one holder on the side, just use a six inch track. And when the holder's out of it, it's just a piece of track that uh, doesn't get in the way. So um, some of the other things, you know, um, we also have uh, fish hawk, which is a down rigging tool, which we'll get into a little later yeah, on down the way. But that fits in the track system as well. Uh, they have a separate uh, plate that fits right in there. So you can mount different accessories, uh, your swivel bases, your rod holders, and, and the such. Yeah. And one of the best things about these rod holders that I hear, I get a lot of feedback on, is the ratcheting effect on it so that if the rod is out here sticking out here you can actually grab the rod and pull it back with one motion absolutely and it'll ratchet back so if i'm grabbing the rod it'll pull back like that and it comes back yeah, all so in one shot in one motion I'm, I'm grabbing the rod when you get that big fish on so that's one of the reasons why that's one of the most popular rod holders out there is the dual axis like paul said and you know if you ask me you know when we first came out with these i was i was you know this is probably over 10 years ago or something but I remember thinking, oh my God, are people really going to spend a hundred bucks on a rod holder? I couldn't believe it. It blew my mind. And then yeah. they just started flying out the door. Well, like, well, yeah. The upside of a hundred dollar rod holder is it's holding sometimes a four or five hundred dollar <laughs> rod. True, so if true. it's made out of plastic or not good heavy duty materials like this, there's nothing worse. There's only one thing worse than losing a fish. It's losing the rod that the fish is on that you can't catch another one. So yeah, yeah. they're pretty heavy duty. And one of the other things that, that uh, if people aren't familiar, familiar there's actual uh, 
a, pl or a piece of metal that goes through, which is called a gimbal mount. So if you have certain rods, especially in salt water, they have it, but I have it on some of my dipsy rods. There's an actual T in the bottom of the handle. It fits down in there so it doesn't turn. Yeah. Especially handiest if you're using like uh, reels with with lead core and the, the heavy that the rod will turn around and the reel will be in the down position. When you go to grab it, you got to turn it around. Yep. You can lock it right in so they're not going to move, which yep. is a really good feature of that. Exactly. Yep. Good stuff. So keep in mind, yeah, there's pedestal bases as well. One thing to remember that if uh, we make four and six inch pedestals, swivel and non-swivel, one thing to remember is that if your downrigger already has a swivel base, do not buy a swiveling pedestal. They will not fit together. So you've already got the swivel on your uh, on your downrigger. So just get a fixed four or six inch pedestal. Uh, and the other rod holder we make is a single axis rod holder. Uh, it's still a great rod holder, but we sell so many more of the dual axis. It's just got every feature that everybody needs. So Paul's going to be back for a couple of other videos. Uh, we just want to start off with this one, a quick run through uh, tracks and uh, rod holders. And uh, thanks for watching. Give us a share. Give us a subscribe. And uh, we'll have some more for you very soon. Thanks. Thanks, Paul. Thank you.